Hello class, I'm Joshua Gillespie and welcome to another lesson in Muppet history. Today we'll be looking at a segment from Sesame Street that was seen as so tragic that it was changed four years after its original debut. It goes by many names, but its official title is simply Number 3 Ball Film. The Number 3 Ball Film was a short film directed by Frank Oz, first shown in episode 277 during the third season. The segment is about a red ball as it travels its way through a roller coaster style track while carnival music plays in the background. As the ball travels, it passes by devices that all come in pairs of three. As this happens, a voiceover counts them off. The voiceover was provided by a young Brian Henson. One, two, three. When the ball reaches the end of the track, it falls into a metal box where it's grounded up into a fine powder, which is what leads many, including Sesame Street officials, to refer to this as number three ball powder. So much creativity. However, this ending was seen as too tragic for the child audience, and in 1974, a new ending was filmed where the ball somehow transforms into three cherries which fall onto Sundays, one of which is eaten by Heather Hinson. Also, the voiceover has been replaced. Not only did Frank Oz direct this segment, but he also built the structure that the ball travels on. In an interview with IGN Film Force, Frank Oz had this to say. The only directing I ever did myself on Sesame Street was a bizarre thing with this ball for the number three, where I built an entire kind of bizarre wire sculpture and shot it over many months. Looking back on it, I'm thinking, my god, why the f*** am I doing all of that work? But it was fun to do. I wouldn't call that directing. I was in a gallery doing wire sculpture and one of my pieces sold. So that's where that came from. It was something where I could control my own little world. But it wasn't directing. It was creating and then just kind of calling the shots. So where can you find the number three ball film? Well, it's available on the old school volumes two and three DVDs, as well as learning about numbers. Unfortunately though, only the cherry ending has ever been released. Of course, you can find the original ending on YouTube and at one point it was available on sesamestreet.org, but it has since been taken down. But that's not the only strange thing. There was a page about the number three ball film from Jim's Red Book on Henson.com, but it has also been removed. Thankfully though, with the help of our friend the Wayback Machine, we can still see the page and it even includes some pretty cool behind the scenes photos. While it mentions Heather Henson's appearance in the new ending, it doesn't mention Brian doing the voiceover for the original. It's so weird that this short film about a ball on a track has become so elusive. It'll take you less than three minutes to watch both versions, and it's fascinating that such a short film was changed four years after it originally aired. But the most important thing to take from this is that it was Frank Oz's directing debut for The Muppets. He would later help Jim direct The Dark Crystal and would be the main director for The Muppets Take Manhattan, and then become a director in his own right for films like Little Shop of Horrors and Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. So, for that, the number three ball film is an important part of Muppet history. One, two, three. And with that, our lesson is done for the day. As always, I hope you enjoyed it, maybe you learned something, and if you have a topic you would like for me to talk about or a question you would like for me to answer, please leave it in the comments section below. But until next time, class dismissed.